What is good, YouTube? Thank you for tuning in to another review. This is Not Your Average Sneaker Head, Tony Ramsey, and today we're taking a look at the Air Jordan 6 in the electric green colorway. Before we get into the sneaker, thank you guys so much for watching. If this is your first time here, please consider subscribing to the channel uh, or leave this video a like as it does help YouTube channel grow. It took a few months off, but I am back bringing you guys more content. I do plan to give you guys more content going forward. So now a good time to join the Not Your Average Sneaker family. Look forward to bringing you guys more reviews as we continue to go on. And with that out of the way, let's take a look at this sneaker right here. So the Air Jordan 6 in the electric green colorway released on Saturday, January 5th for a retail price of $190. These seem like they were pretty easy to grab. They were available almost at everybody that had sneakers. I actually got my pair from Jimmy Jazz. I have never hit a Jimmy Jazz raffle before in my life and I hit on these pretty easily. It's able to give you guys a pretty good look at these if this is one that you chose to pass on or if you're on the fence about picking these up and get you guys a good look at them so you guys can make that decision for yourself. But before we get to details about the sneaker itself, let's go ahead and take a look at the box. So these come in your standard uh, Air Jordan 6 box. So it is a flip top box. You have the black top with the red Jumpman on the top of it. You have some Jumpman Air branding on the sides of the box. You do have that cement print around the bottom of half of the box. Then as it flips open, you do have some cement print paper on the inside as well. There is, looks like a, a stamp or a serial number of some type at the top corner right there and they do not have the green and white uh, actually there it is they do have and it also has that green and white sticker inside of it as well then under that paper you have the sneakers so standard air jordan 6 unboxing experience now look at the sneaker itself first things first i'll go ahead and say that I actually do like Jordan 6's. The silhouette is one that is one of my favorite out of uh, the top 13 uh, Jordan silhouettes. But I can say off the bat, this is a sneaker that I really don't think was very necessary. But either way, let's take a look at the sneaker. So we'll start here at the toe box. Toe box, pretty standard. Rounded toe box, black. I believe that's like Durabuck. It is not Nubuck. It's not suede. So black rounded toe box. Then moving on to the lateral side. Lateral side again, pretty simple, all black upper. And one thing most people are learning is that there is a hidden 2-3 or an MJ, depending on how you wanna look at it, on both the lateral and the medial side. So the two is up here and the three down here at this part separates the panels and you do have your holes right there. Typically in Jordan 6 is that the holes have three in them, but this one does not have any reflective material inside of those holes. So a little bit different there. Then looking at the rear of the lateral side, you do have this Air Jordan 6 bubble up here with some more of that, uh, those holes at the top. Then also on the lateral side for the midsole, you do have some hints of electric green right here at the front, right above the uh, translucent or milky type of outsole. And another hint of electric green right here at the rear as well. Moving on to the rear of the sneaker, you do have Jumpman Air branding. So, so, not, so no Nike Air branding on these as they're not an OG colorway, just Jumpman Air. And you do have an electric green spoiler up here. And you can see some more of that electric green peeking out the back of it right here around these two uh, little accents right there. Moving on to the medial side. On the medial side, you can see that two, three, a little bit more pronounced on this side as well. Want some more of that electric green coming up right here and a translucent outsole that exposes a little bit of the air bubble there as well. Moving on to the tongue of the sneaker, which is probably one of my favorite parts of Jordan 6s, that they do have this like little lace shroud right there that covers up some of the lacing. You do have an electric green Jumpman there. You also have an electric green uh, lace lock at the top right there. I thought that's pretty cool as well. People like to take off the lace locks or they put them down here. I usually leave them at the top personally, and that's how I lace my uh, Jordan 6s up. I think it's the best look for them, in my opinion, for the way I like to wear them. But you can put it, pretty much put that wherever you want. And you do have some Air Jordan branding there at the top of the tongue. Taking a look at the outsole. So the outsole is your standard Jordan 6 outsole. A lot of people uh, assume that this outsole uh, glowed in the dark as the GS pairs of these actually did glow in the dark. I didn't grab any GS pairs this time around because honestly, they were pretty easy to get and I didn't really see any value in me picking those up. But you do have some of that milky translucent right there followed by some black traction right here and the electric green jump in right there in the middle of the outsole. Let's take a look at the inside of the sneaker. 
standard cardboard shoe tree. And the insole of Jordan 6s does come out pretty easily. And this is a polyurethane uh, insole. And this is always something that's really interesting with uh, Air Jordan retro silhouettes, like the like fives and sixes. They always are branded for an Air Jordan 11. So I think they might've just printed up a bunch of these insoles in the past and just keep using them over and over and over again. It's always a nice little Easter egg to find out on Jordan, uh, Jordan retros. But back to the insole, it is a black footbed. Then you also do have an extra green jump in there at the bottom of the insole. And Jordan 6s are also board lasted, so they have cardboard on the inside of Jordan 6s at the bottom. Because that gave, I don't know if you guys can see that pretty well, but I'll give you guys some B-roll shots of how that looks. There is a cardboard last in there. It gives the sneaker more rigidity, so it doesn't flex and move quite as much as other uh, typical basketball sneakers back in that time. And that's pretty much it for details about the Air Jordan 6 and Electric Ring colorway. As I mentioned, pretty simple. It's actually just like a mimic of the infrared sixes, except for where it's red on the infrareds. You have electric green on this one. Again, not sneakers. I think that was pretty necessary, but because it is so simple, I think a lot of people will be able to pull this off uh, during the summertime. So if you pick these up, that would have been a good pickup. And if you passed on these, you're really not missing much. Let's talk about sizing for Air Jordan 6s. So Jordan 6s and Jordan 5s are probably some of the, the hardest sizing to figure out for the Air Jordan silhouettes. Typically in Jordan 5s, I go down a half size to an 8, but in Jordan 6s, I can go true to size, and I'll still have like a little bit of room here in the toe box, but if I went down in a 6, it would be too tight in the toe box. So with Jordan 6s, I recommend going true to size, especially if you're a wide footer. If you have narrow feet, you might be able to get away with going down a half size, but I recommend going true to size in Air Jordan 6s, and this one will be no different. Last but not least, to talk about the resale value for this sneaker. Out of the gate, these have very little resale value. So if you did pass on these or if you did take an L on these and still want to grab them, you should be able to get them off of uh, the resale apps for not too much over retail. I think right now they're going like maybe like around 220 or so on the resale market. So after taxes and fees, you might be paying like 260, which isn't bad for a Jordan Retro. I don't know if these are going to have any long-term value. I think they'll probably be around like the 230, maybe 240 uh, mark tops because Jordan 6s aren't the most popular silhouette. This colorway has no ties to anything historic when it comes down to Jordan. They do resemble the uh, Oregon 6s in a slight resemblance, but not enough to make it have like any kind of value long-term. But if you didn't want that Oregon 6 look without paying the astronomical resale price, this wouldn't be a bad option to go with. And overall, I mean, it does have that electric green or that vault green color, which is easy really to pull off in some looks. So if you didn't want to grab these right now, would be a good time to get it. But either way, if you want to wait, they're not going to go up that much more in value either way. But now that we have those details out of the way, let's go ahead and get these on feet and show you guys exactly how they look. That's gonna do it for my review of the Air Jordan 6 and the Electric Green colorway. Let me know what you guys think about this one down in the comment section below. Did you guys pick this one up? Did you pass on it? If you did pass on it, let me know why. And if you did pick these up, let me know if you like them or not. Uh, for me, as I mentioned, not really a necessary sneaker. I'm really trying to be more selective with the things that I keep in my collection going forward. And this might not be one that I keep around. Again, it's just not a sneaker that I think that I need. And if I did wanna grab it again later on down the line, I think reselling these won't be that high, so you can always go back and get these if you did want them. But right now, just not one that I plan to keep around in my collection, but definitely want to hear what you guys think in the comment section below. That's going to do it. Again, this has been Not Your Average Sneaker Head, Tony Ramsey, looking at the Air Jordan 6 Electric Green. Again, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Leave this video a big thumbs up, and I'll catch you guys on my next review. Peace.